Remember your goal today is showing how the energy source works, not telling about, but showing. To look at this classroom, we need to duplicate that slide so we don't lose the fire. One would think it was a class for digital animation. And let's play it through. But for Timber Trail Elementary teacher Eve King, this class is all about assessing her students' progress using the new approach that incorporates animation software called Toon Boom. It's an animation software that we're using for kids to show their thinking about concepts and content that we're learning in the classroom um, in a very visual way. We can use it um, for both interim assessments, which is that checking along the way um, of those big benchmarks that we're looking for, and then it also can be used as a summative assessment of the final content. Working with the Assessment and System Performance Office, the a pilot group of 12 teachers immersed the Toon Boom animation software as an experiment, a stealth assessment tool, making assessment an integral part of the learning process. Kids are really have become very good at just writing answers and um, sort of regurgitating information that they've, they've seen in their research, especially at the upper levels, without it being a true understanding of what they know um, and what they can apply. King adds that this is definitely a 21st century tool and that the animation is not just for fun drawing, but that we can actually see it in the real world, in real jobs. But the bottom line for King is that it motivates the students. And while they don't realize that they're being assessed, as in a written test, it actually makes the work and the assessment fun. It's easier for me because I kind of know how to work the computer and it, I think it teaches kids better through animation. Yeah, I like doing um, work on the computer because um, you can use different features to make it better. For me, it's easier to visualize than to actually like read and then you don't really know what it looks like. It's easier to just watch it be happening. I just feel like it's more fun and you know, I feel like if you do it on paper it's just kind of school work instead like on the computer it doesn't feel like school work. The house absorbs the sun rays to power the house. And as a goal, the design perform assessment tasks the students with delivering their solutions through animation. This will allow the teachers to quickly see any gaps in their students thinking process and give them personalized feedback in the moment of the learning. For me as a teacher, it's very easy for me to see as they're illustrating or storyboarding prior to the illustration what they do and do not understand and where misconceptions lie if they have them. I'm not very good at drawing and this is another way to like express my learning. When we put it into a visual format, they really have to break apart the content and show the steps of how something works or of how things are connected to one another in order to then draw it out or animate it. So as opposed to we give you a test with all these questions on it. I don't feel like it's a test. Look at it, you're unstoppable.